Created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby in the 60s, the X-Men started out as five superpowered teenagers under the tutelage of Professor Charles Xavier. Eventually, they blossomed as one of Marvel's most recognisable teams. While there have been many fashion disasters in the X-Men, there have also been many success stories as well. Sometimes, these redesigns are so good that it becomes a defining look for the characters. With this in mind, I'm Dan from What Culture, and here are the 10 best X-Men costume redesigns. Number 10. X-Factor Havoc As Cyclops' younger brother, Havoc often gets overshadowed by the more popular Summers. Yet, time and time again, he has proven himself to be a great leader in his own right. Initially, the younger Summers wore an all-black bodysuit, complete with a unique helmet, which allowed him to control his powers. But during the 90s, Alex Summers received a more contemporary redesign, as he was tasked to lead the revamped government-sanctioned X-Factor. Sporting a big yellow X on his chest, complete with a leather jacket, this new uniform matched closely with his comrades. Ultimately, Havoc's redesigned costume was modernised during the new decade while maintaining the aesthetic established by Neil Adams all those years ago. Number 9. 80s Colossus Designed by Dave Cockrum for the all-new, all-different X-Men during the 1970s, Colossus was the X-Men's first Russian member. Peter Rasputin would leave his country to join Charles Xavier and his X-Men as the then youngest addition of the team. His first costume, consisting of red and yellow colours, was way too similar to Nightcrawler's. Though, Colossus retained this costume initially. As the new decade arrived, Colossus would spend most of his time in the 80s sporting a shirtless appearance, especially during the Outback era of the X-Men, where the team had relocated to Australia. It was a fitting change for Rasputin, allowing him to showcase his muscular physique and emphasise his status as the big, metallic man of the team. The shirtless look would remain a defining staple of the character, with it being used as his reintroduction in Astonishing X-Men. Number 8. Professor Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride has had a long journey with the X-Men. From her changing codenames from Shadowcat to Sprite, Kitty was also often a victim of fashion disasters. But in the mid-2000s, it seemed that the young Kitty Pride had finally found a look that stuck with her. During Joss Whedon's astonishing X-Men run, Kitty returned to the team and served as a major character. Having started out as one of the youngest characters, the now Professor Pride had come full circle serving as a teacher who would guide the students in Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Her character arc would also reflect her appearance. Sporting an updated version of her first uniform during the 1980s, Pride had finally found a costume that would define her look for years to come. The simple colours and the design of her uniform signified Kitty's role as one of the team's more down-to-earth members. Number 7. Feline Beast Dr. Henry McCoy is no stranger when it comes to cosmetic changes. He had initially been a mutant that was relatively human looking, with the exception of his big hands and feet. But in the 70s, Hank underwent a transformation in which he received blue fur, which was more fitting of the name Beast. This altered appearance of his would become one of the character's defining traits. Unfortunately for the good doctor, this was not the end of his physical evolution, as he underwent another mutation and received a more feline appearance during Grant Morrison's new X-Men run. Beast's new look would be part of his character arc. He feared that he was slowly losing his intelligence and was slowly devolving into an animal. Thankfully though, McCoy learned to live with his new appearance, and his feline look would become a staple of the character for years to come. Number 6. Archangel Warren Worthington III was one of the original members of the X-Men. Extremely wealthy and carefree, he enjoyed his tenure as Angel as he joined his teammates on numerous adventures. But his role as the Winged Avenger would later take a tragic turn when his wings were mutilated by Harpoon during the mutant massacre of the 80s. Eventually, his injury led to his wings having to be amputated after forming an infection. Distraught at the loss of his wings, Angel fell into a depression and was presumed dead in a plane crash. But Warren actually survived this and would later be found by Apocalypse, transforming him into the Horseman of Apocalypse, Death. Now, with blue skin and metallic wings that could be used as projectiles, the fallen angel became a darker character. Even after leaving Apocalypse, Warren was forever changed by his experience 
And while he did regain his natural wings years later, Angel's time as a horseman of death and his new look would remain one of the character's most memorable moments. Number 5. Marvel Now, Magneto Magneto has always been a key player of the X-Men, having first appeared as the team's foe during their first issue. Jack Kirby's original design made Magneto such a memorable villain. His original appearance would remain fairly consistent throughout the years, but after the death of Charles Xavier during the Avengers vs X-Men story arc, Magneto would ditch the red and purple for something more fitting and sombre. Now, sporting a white costume as well as a sleeveless look, Eric joined the morally compromised Cyclops and his rogue X-Men during the Marvel Now era as they fought harder for mutant rights. Number 4. Dark Phoenix The Dark Phoenix saga is one of the most iconic X-Men storylines ever as the Phoenix Force possessed and corrupted Jean Grey. She became a danger not only to her friends, but to the entire universe as well. Swapping her green and yellow colours for a dark red, Jean Grey as the Dark Phoenix bared a sinister visage as the cosmic force possessed the young woman, with her eyes losing humanity and her face having an otherworldly expression. The Dark Phoenix became one of the X-Men's biggest foes. Ultimately, Jean chose to die as a mortal rather than be consumed by the godlike power. While she has been resurrected numerous times, Jean's turn as the Dark Phoenix remains a classic in the X-Men's rich and colourful history. Number 3. Punk Storm Aurora Monroe is one of the X-Men's most powerful members. Having been treated as a goddess in Africa, her initial appearance was one benefiting of such a description. With her long white hair and flowing cape, Storm would serve as a member of the second generation X-Men. But after her experience with the Brood, Storm decided to change her serene look for something that was much more contemporary to the 1980s. The result was her punk phase or better known as Punk Storm, losing her flowing locks for a mohawk and ditching her costume for a leather vest. Storm underwent a major change. This change would shock her teammates, but despite this, Punk Storm would become one of the character's most iconic looks. Number 2. Jim Lee's Cyclops Since the inception of the team, Scott Summers has been the field leader of the X-Men. Since the 60s, the man known as Cyclops had the most consistent of costume designs. But in the 1990s, artist Jim Lee took over the series and gave the characters new costumes that would define the team for a generation. Among them was Cyclops' new costume. Despite being filled with 90s style ornaments, such as pouches and leg holsters, Cyclops' new costume has remained one of his most memorable looks. It was distinct enough to allow Scott to stand out as a leader, while keeping true to his character by keeping the same colour scheme that he's always had. Number 1. Wolverine's Brown Costume Initially, a one-time foe for the Incredible Hulk, James Howlett, better known as Wolverine, joined the X-Men in the 70s. He eventually became one of the fans' favourite characters in the series, even gaining solo titles. Despite this, his earlier outfits had him sport bright yellow and blue colours, which, despite being well designed, didn't seem to fit with the character all that well. Then, along came artist John Byrne, who decided to give Logan a brand new look, giving him a more muted colour scheme as he wore a brown and tan costume. This redesign gave Wolverine a much darker appearance, which fit the character a lot more than the bright yellow that came before it. And while Wolverine would later return to his blue and yellow colours, this redesign would remain one of his best looks. And he is hoping that once the character finally makes his MCU debut, he finally gets his iconic mask and costume. And that's our list. Know of any other good X-Men costume redesigns? Let us know in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter, at DanJDurkin. And after that, be sure to swing on over to whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every single day. For now though, I've been Dan, and I'll catch you in the next one.